my subconscious wish something very bad, you know, like get ill. So then I get ill, you know, and I have this illness for many years and I'm still ill, you know, with something that create change the life of many people, not just my life, you know. So then I am the center of the universe that I wish to be always, <laughs> you know, because I am ill. So you then you have to I... come to see me because I am ill and you have to write me and you have to send me gifts or whatever. And I don't have to give you anything because I am ill, you know. So it's so, oh my God, I'm like, just like God, you no, know? just like, <laughs> because I become, then I discover the narcissist inside of me, you know. And yeah, it's awful to see it, you know, <laughs> like this way, you know, because I always play the victim, you know, with my illness and oh, with the accidents or whatever. But, but why I want to be that, why I want to all this attention for myself. And when I ask myself why I want all this attention for myself, I, I don't know. I always go to my, to the child that is abandoned by the parents, you know, that was divorced or whatever, or the child that didn't know what to do there alone between the friends that was always bullying, you know? So is there the creator of this narcissist or this, part of, uh, of the will that we want to be like so, you know, in that accident or in that illness, you know, and didn't know how to, to do it in another way, because another way is to be the best, the champion, you know, the, but didn't went to that way. Why didn't went to that direction? Why didn't success, you know, because always, if you are a celebrity, also you have all the cameras in, in yourself, you know? So this is a um, contradiction. Maybe both are the same, you know? I'm not sure which one is more negative or what to call them, but I don't know if you, you have more about that. You want to go first, Teru? I think the fact that what was coming to me is that we have an affinity towards drama, right? Like we want ups and downs and guilt consciousness and victim identities. Like we, that somehow it's a little bit spicy for us for all that to be going on. Because somehow one needs to question that why do we even want so much attention, right? Either the good way or the bad way or the illness way or the celebrity way. I remember there's this movie, Seven Years in Tibet. So in that movie, you know, there's this thing that Brad Pitt is trying to impress a girl, a Tibetan girl, and he gives her a handbook which has, you know, all the accomplishments, like Brad Pitt is a star back home and he's a aviator and you know a baseball player and stuff and she looks at the book very casually and within a second she gives it back and she says you know in my culture we don't consider these things of I mean if, if these things as good rather the one who can conquer the ego you know the one who can be less is considered more so I think just that question right that why do I need to play these games in the first and because things can be simple, right? And I guess, again, questioning the need for doing so much, like what does it bring me? Like say if one is, say, wishing for illness, for example, people start, you know, giving you attention and you get a lot of thing and this, but I see very slowly that fades away, right? And people even start, could be avoid, you know, they could start avoiding you. So then is the time to question that, you know, I wish this maybe, or, you know, I like this, but do I even like it anymore? You know, am I not being just a burden and I'm just, you know, kind of 
creating a negative place for myself and others do i want to be here do i i think if we get this movement if we have the urge to follow them we must so that we can come to the conclusion that this will not give me that you know, this is not complete in me even if people are giving me attention it's like if they don't i mean what is actually that giving me right and that also is temporary in most cases so if i just you know how they say that an aimless life is a miserable life that shri aurobindo quote again that what is the aim of my existence is it just attention from these five people or is this maybe 500 people that if i become a celebrity maybe 50 million people but would that attention also give me something if this hasn't yet given me anything i think it it was uh, one of the hollywood actors i i am forgetting the name kenu reeves or some, uh, i don't know who said that you know i wish that everybody would make millions of dollars so that they or get popular because then at least they know that this doesn't give you anything this is not it because in you know with again the social media and the images and the posters and the glamour you feel that you know i lack oh man i lack so many things look at look at that you know at hollywood actor who has everything in the world and he must be so happy and then that actor says that you know i wish you two could get the million billion dollars and realize that it doesn't make you happy right and as complete incomplete right now as i could be before i think it was jim carrey yeah sorry so Yeah, just to see the drama that I allow in my life, and is that doing me any good? Because somehow the ego is very attracted to either playing the victim card or the guilt card. You know, in the same relationship for the same event, maybe something happened and you feel like a victim. And then after I don't know two hours or two days, when you talk to the person, why did you do this? And you know they would reply, and then you would be like, oh my god, I got it so wrong. And then you play the guilt card that oh I'm so horrible. You know earlier on you're playing that that person is horrible. They're making this doing this to you. And then it takes a second to just switch. It has no authenticity. and yet i keep believing in it right like i am being made to dance by my own beliefs and all this and i keep believing but one day when i stop that you know let me see that all these dances that i am doing what have they given me till now or what they what have they given to anybody that would be a good place to start the questioning and maybe shedding of some patterns or these of life towards a bit more simplicity and looking at facts and yeah yeah thank you yeah uh, so just adding on to i think what taru already shared so again uh, retracing the steps back to your question once again claudia that you asked so the want for attention which taru is reflecting upon i think before that if i go somewhere there is a belief that i am unworthy because if this belief is not there unchecked unquestioned belief that i am carrying in my head that i am unworthy which i have never questioned just like you were talking about childhood something happened i did not have a good childhood and i took it as okay why don't they love me so first of all this belief that they don't love me again i took it like rigidly in my head and still carrying as a adult and secondly they don't love me because i am unworthy of their love and i never questioned this belief now what i do is instead of questioning this belief that i am unworthy am i unworthy is anyone unworthy i don't question it you know and what i do is to prove that i am worthy i ask for attention for that i can fall ill the ego makes use of anything whatsoever it's like cruel you know ego is a cruel master it would devastate you but it would want attention 
so at the stake of my life what am i craving craving for attention why because because of this unchecked belief that i am still carrying that i am unworthy and please 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 give me attention so that i know that i am worthy so i think this was uh, coming to me that there there is this unchecked belief that i am carrying which i have never questioned never thought why do i think like this that i am unworthy where is it coming from as mother says that you must question why do i think like that and feel like that so first that secondly i feel what taru was again uh, pointing at is that when i have this sense of limited self that i am this little person very limited you know always wanting more and more happiness more uh, contentment in my life but i end here and you start there you know so my body is where i end the other person starts there and the other person is you know different he can be unhappy he can be in misery but i want to be happy so i think as long as we live with the sense of ego we have to be very very sure that the sense of incompletion is not going to go away because ego is like a you know masters have used this example it's like a compressed rubber ball so the the if you compress a rubber ball you know like you muscle uh, practice your muscles exercise your muscles with that if you compress it you would see that it wants to be back to its original shape you know it's not happy being there you know so they they relate ego with this compressed ball and that's why all the egos are wanting just fulfillment they actually they are craving for this fulfilled relaxed state why because i am so tense you know i don't like this suffocated state this limited state all the happiness that i get is so limited so temporary pleasures are changing into pain very soon you know so it's like this we live and nobody likes it so i want this i have a memory of this relaxation what i do is in my ignorance i consume more food i consume more entertainment thinking that it will relax me you know but it doesn't we all know that it doesn't you know it just makes me more hungry more hungry for that relaxation and that's why addictions happen because addictions make me this instantly now i am this again after the addiction is over but i am craving for that relaxed state so i again eat consume the drug or alcohol or whatever relationships so because i want to be this you know so as long as we are living as the egos as the limited self as me 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 my story my happiness my desire as long as we are living like that we will remain like this there is no end to the suffering and that's why uh, masters have asked us to turn towards the divine or turn within because there we realize that oh what you know taru was sharing that i don't need to do this drama anymore i can just relax i don't have to prove myself to anyone i can relax that was just the ego that was making me unworthy i am not unworthy each one of us is worthy not only me not only i am special but each one is special but parallelly also realizing that there is work to be done which is moving towards more and more perfection beauty harmony in thoughts harmony in feelings harmony in relationships you know that work is a parallel work which everyone has to do knowing that we are all relaxed you know we are all children of the divine and each one is very very unique very very special and very worthy now there i can begin the new path you know the path towards perfection there i can start so with a healthy sense of self i am still a limited individual but i am not unworthy so that question that belief i have questioned that each one is worthy you know and from that relaxed state i can further travel on
Yeah, one uh, small thing just to clarify. Uh, say if I want attention, I don't. You know, because I would feel rejected by this idea. I mean, I would not accept this idea that I would still want illness. So I don't know. Subconsciously, we might not even want the illness, but if I want something, the means that it is given to me could vary, right? The means, like we were talking that okay. i want to break free for example and yet i don't have yet have the courage to break free so then probably a tragedy is sent my way so that i can get in touch with the courage to break free so i might not have subconsciously wished for a tragedy to come because you know that idea feels a bit weird that why would i wish bad for me the modes can be different the medium maybe i don't have a hand on but what i am asking the way it is given that could be anything that the universe decides and when you were talking about worthiness monica i was also remembering you know that self giving uh, by khalil gibran what he had said we were discussing the other day this on self giving so i think it ended that you know okay how can you judge if somebody is worthy or not when we all have you know the free spirited earth as a mother and i think son as the father right like they are equal to all they don't say that you know you can walk on me or you know i will not shine on you that if they find you worthy to be giving you so much then everybody is worthy so even judging my worth or somebody else's worth i don't have the need or the right to go there yeah thank you god i